Hello everyone, this is a video on uh, Pico in a posterior polar cataract with uh, intraoperative floppy iris syndrome. Although the pupil is mid dilated, uh, echo can be done, but I'll show you a few clues which will help in knowing beforehand that the pupil will constrict during the surgery. So, the first clue is that when you're injecting fluid, you can see that the iris margin is quite placid and uh, on uh, staining the capsule while I'm removing. removing the dye you can see that there is a billowing of the iris and the iris started prolapsing towards the side port and the pupil has become quite oval so it donates that the, it shows that the pupil is quite floppy and uh, there's high chance that during surgery it's going to uh, constrict so better to use uh, uh, expanding people expanding devices I usually prefer uh, iris hooks here one can always use other devices as well here uh, the main aim is just to prevent the iris to come into the operating field so we have seen that I have not overstretched the pupil at the end you will see that the pupil is near normal So creating the capsular axis here with the cystitome. As it's a posterior polar cataract, hydro dissection is contraindicated. I'm using spatula to do uh, spatula dissection, separating cortex from the capsule. Doing hydro delineation here. So starting my FECO emulsification with lower parameters, removing some of the superficial cortex, then creating a short deep trench and started my FECO chop with the parameters with lower parameters. First chop, this is the second chop and this is the third chop. You can see that uh, two nuclear P Pies have already been created and is emulsified. As we know that in PPC uh, there should not be any or very minimum uh, rotation of the nucleus. And the remaining of the hemineucleus can be prolapsed out with the help of Sinsky. And emulsified. So taking out the epinucleus sheet, never allow chamber to collapse. Now doing a visco dissection so as to prolapse the epinucleus out of the capsular bag and it will also help as a protective cushion. Now uh, removing the epinucleus with lower parameters. One should be quite gentle and slow in such cases. Although it takes time, one should not lose patience. You can see that still the iris is uh, prolapsing through the side port. Never allow the chamber to collapse. Now uh, using biminial irrigation aspiration to remove the thin uh, your epinucleus sheet along with the cortex.
putting these elastics before taking out the instrument now repeating the same so here you have seen that uh, uh, the use of iris hooks have have uh, saved my day here otherwise i would have struggled because the people will definitely uh, would have uh, uh, become small during the surgery so after that i am placing a foldable lens in the capsular bag and at the end you can see that the people is round thank you thank you for watching